So we are in Dublin, it's the Fuse 24 show and I'm here with Maggie Chow, she's Deputy Director at uh, ITRI from Taiwan. So Maggie, great to see you again, thanks very nice much for joining us. Um, so um, you know, tell us why you were at uh, Fuse this year and, and what you're hearing at this show. Okay, this is our first time to join Fuse. As you know that the uh, Taiwan government trying to promote open rain for decades, uh, for, for several years, and uh, we established a lab. It's a 5G open network lab. So it's a carrier grade end-to-end -end integration with the both SA and NSA indoor testing environment. The reason that why we like to establish this lab is that we try to provide the qualified solution to the ecosystem partners. And as you know, the beauty of the open RAN is to provide the diversity of supply chain. So the interoperability is very important. So that's the key why this is our first step to establish the lab. And in the first beginning with this platform that we, uh, we work very closely with our local ecosystem. For example, we help the vendors to enhance their capability via the testing. We also work closely with the operators, local operators, mm -hmm. so that we can realize what's their requirement or expectation via the testing. And uh, we know that we cannot just do it within our region. So we try to reach out to the global ecosystem. And that's why we joined T, because our lab is also one of the T community lab okay. that we can conduct the Beijing program. So uh, w what we can offer is that we can offer a testing service for the open RAN, RIC, open Wi-Fi, and DCSG. So as of now, we already support eight Taiwanese companies to award these tip badges. And uh, starting from this year, we think that uh, we need to cooperate with more labs. So that's why we joined TIP, is the reason that TIP can help us to reach out to different labs or different operators or different vendors. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I think this February, we made an announcement in Mobile World Congress that ETRI and the NTIA from US government the I-41 labs from Germany and Sonic Lab from UK that four of us, the government testing lab will join forces to, to you know, to for the lab collaboration. And the reason that we join the fields this time is we try to share our experience. You know, we always talk about the lab collaboration by just talk. Mm -hmm. But this year, we really did something that we have signed the MOU with uh, Sonic Lab and I-41 Lab with different topic. So we want to share our experience. So we joined Fuse and we also joined the panel yesterday to share our experience and we learned a lot of feedback. I think this is very good to join this kind of event that we can, as I just mentioned to you earlier, the networking, the socializing is very important, yes. but we also get a lot of feedback, what we can do but we can collab more. So that's the major reason we okay. are here. So you're, you're already collaborating, working with other labs uh, around the world, but there's, there's more partnerships that you're looking to do, is that right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. We cannot do it alone. Yes, uh, no. absolutely. Yeah. And uh, ITRI isn't the only organization from Taiwan uh, here at this year's Fuse. There's quite a, a, a number of companies here. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so um, actually the reason that we would like to do this kind of thing is that we have a very strong hardware ecosystem in Taiwan and uh, you know in the past time it's always that it's us each coming out to to demonstrate what our lab is or what our company is and uh, but we really think that if our company can present themselves by themselves to let more customers or more more partners know about that it will be better so we discussed with T and we decided to organize the Taiwan Pavilion and Fuse this time okay so this time we bring five Taiwanese companies so covering from the open transport open red and security. So we are very happy about this combination because it's kind of the what open networking is. And it's also showing up that what we can present the end-to-end -end solutions to our global partners. Okay. And uh, are you able to tell us about uh, these different companies? Yeah, so we have five companies. Okay. The first one is the UV Space. So UV Space, they are the 
open the provide open networking solutions. UP Space present their next generation 800G lineup. So they offering the high speed, low latency networking infrastructure designed for the data centers and the telecom sectors. So these solutions are engineered to support the growth of AI and machine learning application and the upcoming 6G extra. So this is about the HUV space. And there is another open transport company called Edgecore. So Edgecore is very familiar, work very closely with T. So from, from our lab, they also get a page about the DCSG and the open Wi-Fi. So they're quite familiar with the global partners. And uh, Edgecore, yes, they are the pioneer of open networking solution provider with a full portfolio of routing and switching platforms. So they have been one of the first open networking adopter and they are a part of keep working together the messaging to transforming the way that they, the world can connect. So it's a wholly uh, own subsidy of Ecton, Ecton Technology Corporation and the leading network ODM in Taiwan. So Edgecore provides fully integrated AI and turnkey networking solutions with hardware, software, transceivers, and NICs for the AI cluster and cloud data centers. And there is another one called GRANS. Actually, we, you may be familiar with HTC, mm -hmm. the cell phone companies. And GRANS, you, you know, HTC is a famous cell phone company, and then they are very good at their AR, VR, the contents. And then I think it's very interesting that they try to promote their VR, AR, VR, so they provide their own 5G network solutions to with this kind of content. So this one is a very famous one. So Jiren is focused on the baseband unit software development and the optimization. So instead of the general purpose of 5G network, Jiren is dedicated to highly customize the 5G network solution to fulfill the enterprise use case requirement and even beyond the customer's expectation. So what I just mentioned about the, the, the beauty of joining this event is that Julian just filled out, they met a lot new customers here. There are some big customers that visit them and realize, oh, you are also provide the, the 5G solutions. So I think that is a very good way that why we need to you know, bring the companies to to view this event. And there is another one is CT1. So CT1 is the software company provides secure solutions. So security is the key accelerator for ORAN de development and the AI and machine learning application will bring known risk into the ORAN networks. So CT1 secure RAN solution protect voluntarily from the new ORAN attack surface and help build reliability networks during the operational stage. QCT is a total infrastructure solution provider offering the end-to-end -end solution ranging from 5G AI to cloud technology. So QCT has flexibility hardware infrastructures built for AI and 5G workload to support open range as the demonstration. So with the strong capability of design, engineering, manufacturing, supply chain, and close relationship with NVIDIA, Intel, and AMD, QCT could be the best partner on the journey in the open range. So those are the five companies that I would bring in here. Okay, well, a, a really interesting um, broad range of uh, technologies there. And, you know, a few names that I think that, that people at, at Fuse here will, will already know. But of course, like you say, it's always good to, to, to meet and talk uh, in person whenever yeah, possible. Yes, definitely, definitely. Okay, Maggie, great to see you again. Thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you, thank you.